Uh, this year is entitled in memory of Rabbi Hirsch Levitan Zatzal. When we visit a Menachem the Levitan, should we sit on the floor with them? So, anyone listening thinks that's a ridiculous question. I imagine many people react by saying, Chas v'shalom, to sit on the floor with the Avel. Everyone knows if anyone walks into an Avel's house and by accident sits in, sits in the Avel's chair, they're going to get screamed down. Chas v'shalom, don't stay in that chair. It's an Ayin Hara. It's terrible. You're the Menachem, you're not the Avel. So what kind of question is that? The answer is, it's an excellent question. From the Gemara, we've shown him, and the Shulchan Aruch, Yoridea Shen Pei Zayin. It's very clear. The Menachem sits together with the Yavel. He's with him as a Nisar. Rashi and Shabbat, you bet, he says that you're Mitzta'er. You're Mitzta'er with the Yavel. That's true Nicham Avelu. What better way to be mitzvah to feel the pain with the avel than to sit on the floor with him? Now, why the avel himself is not on the floor? He's on a low chair. We'll discuss next year, Mitz Hashem. But wherever the avel is, he's on a low chair. And then you should be on a low chair with him. So I know what you're thinking. Nice, makes sense. Shulchan Aruch. But we don't do this. This is not the minhag. There's an ayin hara. You can't sit with the avel. That's not true. Shulchan Aruch writes that you should sit with him, and that's the true Nicham Avelim. The Taz and the Shach over there write that since it's all covered for the Avel, and if the Avel says, Amochel, thank you very much for the honor and, and, and the compassion and the empathy sitting together with me, but Amochel. You don't need to do that. Just like a rabbi works in the room, you don't need to stand up for me. A father works into a house, you don't need to stand up to the child. So you don't need to sit with me. You could sit on a regular chair. I know it's not easy to be on the floor with me. So you'll say, well, that's very nice. If the Avel knows that, if Dr. Levitan knows that when I come to visit, I should sit on the floor with him, but he's mochel. He says, I'm a vater. You could sit on the chair, and I'll sit on the floor or the low chair. But if Dr. Levitan and the brothers don't know that they're even magia loke, that they're, that covet is coming to them, how could they be mochel? How could they say, you don't need to sit on the floor? They don't even know I'm supposed to sit on the floor with them. It's a good question. The Taz and the Shach still say, that there is a presumed mechila, there's an uh, assumption that the Ovel is mochel, and he simply doesn't demand for the menachamim to sit on the floor. So it's fascinating. We started off this year two minutes ago with a provocative question. Should the menachem sit on the floor? And made a hundred degree turn. Question is not should he sit on the floor? Pasha, we should sit on the floor. Question is, how could we not sit on the floor? And there's a svar, and that's the minag. And minag Yisrael, of course, we accept minag Yisrael. But it's important to understand minag Yisrael. The minag Yisrael is a, is a justification that we're lenient. But the din, in terms of the straight din, we should be together with Dr. Levitin, Dr. Levitin and the brothers on the floor with them, on a low seat with them. That is the din. And there's a minute to be lenient with the presumption that the Avel doesn't mind that he's on the floor of low sea and we're all sitting a few, a foot or two above, so to speak, looking down at him instead of being with him. But even if we say that we're lenient with this minute, the Rashi and you Ben on Shabbos, we should not be lenient about, which is what? That we, when we're there, are mitzta'er. We feel the pain and we're together with them in their pain. Yes, Hashem, the family should have nechama. And we should have smachot together. Shalom.